So just tell us something about what was here uh, on the original Summerland. This apparently was indoors. It was. All this, this rock face that you see behind you here, this, is, this was actually a waterfall feature. It used to come down. The rock face, of course, Mother Nature's taken that over again since with all the gorse and stuff that's on it. But it was all the actual roof of the original Summerland went probably as much t this and half as much again up onto virtually the back gardens of what is Strathallan Road, I think, yeah. up at the back. But it was it was a fantastic facility. It was way ahead of its time. If you look at things like centre parks and places like this across now, who have only been going what ten years or so, yes. this was all built with that in mind back in the late sixties, early seventies. Stupidly, I never went in it, and I should have done because I was only living in the hydro along the prom. But locals always, you know, you leave it for another day, and then sadly Absolutely. it was too late. Yeah. No, I, I remember coming in. Well, there used to be queues here at half past seven, eight o'clock at night. They used to have turnstiles on the front door. Mm. and those turnstiles were going between 8 and 10. Everybody was piling in, and about midnight it used to reverse the other way, but it, it was a fantastic facility. It was uh, way ahead of its time. The original design, I think, had a provision for a, a, a beach, didn't it, with waves. Was that ever built? No, no, no. that never happened. It's just like the car park at the end. Originally, that was supposed to be a multi-storey car park, so as you drove into the car park, right. you went up to the different levels of was the Aquadrome, Summerland, and various levels coming in, but... No, it's, um, I have mixed emotions about this place. I've, I've had some really good times here, but obviously the, it's past, is, it's, it's always brought up in conversations back yeah. to 1973, but as a building, and we're still doing well here as a building, but it's, uh, yeah, mixed emotions on this one. You're gonna move to the new Villa Marina, the refurbished Villa Marina, yep. early next year. Do you think this should be pulled down? I, it might, personally, yes. I think this should be knocked down now, yeah. it's. The history of it, and it, it is a tired old building, and the, the new villa in fairness is going to be a fantastic facility. It's, it's going to be a bit special, and what they're hoping to put up here is going to, uh, well, I, it's going to be brilliant because you're going to have apartments, a hotel, uh, they're building a, an ice rink, mm. the TT Museum and stuff like that. Mm. So what, what will be replaced here? I'm off the age, I'm lucky enough to remember the Derby Castle being here when yeah. I was a kid. Mm. Uh, so I've seen Summerland here as well, and hopefully I'll be around long enough to see the new... Uh, Indeed. Whatever it is. And the new villa, will that serve all the purposes that this has, I mean, not the sporting side, of course, but the big functions and the, the rock concerts and the sort of events, the parish walk night, all that sort of thing? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's going to be people, a lot of people have been asking me recently because of the fact of the intimate closure of this place, but yeah, there, there's going to be a cinema there, uh, as we have here. There's going to be a brand new play area down there. We're lucky because we've got two brand new function rooms, which are, which are brilliant, 150, 200 seater type function rooms. We've still got the Royal Hall, which is 1500, and we've still got the gardens for outside gigs. So if anything, the villa is going to be the, the uh, something special, yeah. One final problem for everyone is actually pulling this thing down. That's going to be a job to watch. Indeed, I've heard over the years, everybody's been saying it's fallen down and all the rest of it, but believe me, when, when they start knocking this down, they're going to have their work It'll be a out. bit stubborn, I think. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Okie dokie.